Hello there, it's Trisha, and uh, we're here in Los Angeles doing some more Ask Trisha Questions and Answers. And so thank you all for sending in your questions on Twitter and Facebook and TrishaHelper.com. Um, I haven't read through them all, so it's going to be a surprise uh, each, each time I read one. But uh, again, thank you all for sending them in, and let's get right to them. Next question. I want to know if there's a possibility to see you in Germany for a convention or something like this to get an autograph and perhaps make a picture with you. That would be a dream of mine. Perhaps you can tell me us how often you go to the gym to get a, such a great body like you have. Well, thank you. Uh, I love you in the television series Battlestar Galactica and Two and a Half Men and hope that you will make a lot of movies in the next years. Well, thank you. I do as well. Um, I, I don't have any plans on going to Germany. There was possibly a convention that I was going to do I did at the end of this month, but I'm, I wasn't able to go and book it in advance. So maybe next year, maybe I'll, I'll be able to get there next year. I used to be in Germany a lot when I was modeling. Years ago, I used to fly to Germany quite often, uh, fly in for a day and then fly back out again to New York. Um, so I know Germany fairly well. So maybe I'll see you next year. I'm working on getting in shape for my wedding. I decided not to put a number goal on my fitness, pounds or inches, instead have two goals of articles of clothing I want to wear. The Princess Leia Slave Girl gold bikini from Star Wars, oof, and the Caprica 6 red dress. What type of diet and exercise do you do that you rock that dress so hard? <laughs> uh, from Rachel. Well, thank you, and congratulations on your wedding, and um, good on you for getting in shape for it. Um, you know, I think diet and exercise to me is, is moderation. Um, I do Pilates, I do yoga, and I do a lot of hiking, and uh, I do a bit of running. I'm not a huge runner. I'll more walk uphill on the treadmill and then do a little bit of running, um, but I'm much more of a hiker, fast hiker, and elevations up and down, and, and more of a treacherous hike or a you know fast-paced hike. You got to get your blood pressure up if you want to, you know, tone up and lose weight, um, and then mixed with you know uh, abs and toning and. It doesn't, ha it doesn't have to be in a gym. It can be doing push-ups on, or, you know, you can do triceps on the side of a chair. And um, it's really about varying your workout and doing things that make you have fun and, and want to work out. And with food, you know, again, it's moderation. If you say, I can't have anything sweet or I can't have anything dessert ever, you're just going to crave it and want it. So it's about moderation and making sure you fill yourself up up more on the vegetables and salads and and uh, fruits and cutting out carbs. Carbs is really a big thing. You know, if you're really trying to lose weight for your wedding, cut out carbs and or have your carbs more in the morning and skip them in the evening um, when it's just going to sit on you while you're sleeping. So good luck. What's your favorite childhood memory from the farm? Also, if you could travel to any point in the past as an observer, what would you want to see? From Mike Tapscott. Um, my favorite childhood memory from the farm, I think, is probably hiking. We would do these fun hikes. We'd go out and we'd we'd walk around and go across the beaver dams and collect clams and put them back. Um, we didn't eat them, but we'd put them back and build bonfires and roast marshmallows and and uh, just had a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. We would do that as a family. Um, in the summer a lot and in the winter it would be tobogganing um, and we had a toboggan hill that dad would make for us and we'd clear out all the rocks so you'd crack your head open and uh, I think those are my, my favorite memories is just being out with the family and being out active and doing things outside which is probably why I still love snowshoeing and, and hiking and things like that um, and I think in that vein I think that's probably the time period I would travel back to I wouldn't want to stay there because <laughs> I don't want, I, I get cold easy, oh, and I don't know how they did it. I don't know how the, the you know, the first pioneers and, the, and um, the farmers did it, but I'd like to go back to that era when Canada was settled um, by the, you know, I guess by my ancestors, and I'd love to see, I'd love to see their way of life. I'd love to see, you know, my ancestors, um, where I came from, uh, within Canada and how they, they started farming. I think that'd be really interesting. 
finished the questions for today. Thank you all for sending them in. Uh, there were some great questions. And be sure to tune in on TrishaHuffer.com for the next installment of Ask Trisha. And you can continue to send your questions. We will compile them and we will be doing more questions and answers in the future. So be sure to tune in. And thank you all again. Big bye.